So, aim of this presentation, we're going to talk about macro and macronutrients for training. So, carbohydrates, protein and fat. What are they and how much do you need? So, protein for boxing. Protein is a building blocks for our body. So, it helps us build lean muscle and it helps us grow. So, it's really important and it also helps you feel full. Has anybody ever had a big steak or a big meat? You get quite sweats. It's almost like having, if you're going to have a Christmas dinner or say a nice big meat meal, you get really hot and that's just your body trying to break it down. Compared to a big pasta meal, we digest it really quite quick and we don't get those meat sweats. So actually protein increases our metabolism. So it's called thermic effect of feeding. 30% of calories you have from protein, you use just by digesting it. Carbohydrates and fat, that's about 5%. So it's really good for our body to help keep lean. We want to try and consume around 20 gram of protein with our main meals and post training to help with recovery. Okay, so we want to get good constant feedings. This is what 20 gram of protein looks like. So it's around 600 ml of milk. It's around three whole eggs. So if you're having scrambled eggs at breakfast, try and get three scrambled eggs on your plate. It's about 100 gram of beef and chicken breast. And it's about 200 gram of Greek yogurt or like dairy products such as cottage cheese. So we have essential and non-essential. Have we got any vegetarians or vegans in here? Ideally, from a muscle building point of view, and kind of losing weight, we're probably best off with essential proteins. But also now there is a lot of research around non-essential because of how the kind of universe is going in terms of plant-based and being better for the environment. I try and say is rather than young athletes weighing the foods out all the time, go by fist rule. So you want a size of protein at breakfast, lunch and dinner, size of your fist on your plate. We'll come to this later. So one fist of meat or fish, around three eggs, like I said, 600 ml of milk or 200 gram of high protein yogurt. That's around 20 gram of protein. For the non-essential, so for any vegetarians and vegans, you want two fists and you want to combine in that list there. So it might be some brown bread with some um, baked beans. It could be some whole grain rice with like a mixed bean chili. And you want that because then that makes a complete protein. All right. So if you're having animals, one fist. If you're having non-essential, like non-animals, plant-based, probably want two fists and merge them together. So top protein tips. So this is some simple tips for you to take away. Try and have 500 ml of milk, around 600 ml of milk, or a protein yogurt after training sessions. These are high in protein and will help the recovery process. How many of you bring any of them to a session? Just a little like that. It's just a little tip. And milk and high protein yogurt is pretty cheap. You can probably get it for about under a pound. So bring that with you. As soon as you finish your session, have that on your way home. Ideal for recovery. Have a high protein breakfast. So this will provide you with muscle building nutrients. So breakfast is usually the lowest protein meal of the day for most athletes. Reason why that is, most people don't eat it. You want to get up just before you get out of the door, go to school, go to work. Getting that 20 gram of protein in as soon as you wake up is ideal because you've probably slept 10 hours, probably didn't have a meal maybe one, two hours before that. So you haven't had any protein in our body for about 12 to 16 hours. So getting a high protein breakfast, really important. It's going to help you feel full for rest of the day too. And have a high protein snack in between meals or before bed. So we want to constantly get protein into our body every three to four hours. Getting about 170 to 250 gram, either a low fat cottage cheese or 0% Greek yogurt with fruit are great options to snack on. And these are some high protein yogurts and puddings which you can get from your local supermarkets, which are pretty cheap. So as well as the milk, you could easily have one of them post exercise as well with that amount. Really simple to follow. Boxing Science are proud to present our brand new amateur boxing strength and conditioning program. This is structured and designed to help amateur boxers increase their strength, speed and fitness across the entire amateur boxing season. At Boxing Science we've trained hundreds of boxers from amateurs through to professional world champions and look to share our training methods with our range of ebooks and training programs. However, we recognize that there are potential barriers to stop amateur boxers partaking in strength and conditioning methods with money, time and facilities being potential limiting factors. This has motivated us to create an affordable program with time efficient sessions that can be performed in any training environment. In this program, we provide plyometrics, mobility, strength training and high intensity conditioning methods that can be easily integrated into boxing sessions no matter the age, the ability, the facility or the group size. This is a periodized program that suits the unpredictable nature of an amateur boxing season, meaning that boxers can be fit, fast and strong 
for about at any time and are able to peak for important competition. So if you're an amateur boxer or you're a coach at an amateur boxing club, this is a perfect program to start integrating the boxing science training methods easily into your sessions. The boxing science have been highly motivated and dedicated to be upskilling boxers and coaches in amateur boxing because we know how important strength and conditioning is in terms of youth development. This is why we do the Boxing Science Youth Athlete Initiative, where we provide free services to local amateur boxers. With this program, 20% of the profits will be donated to the Boxing Science Youth Athlete Initiative to make sure that we keep investing our time into researching and training youth boxers in the local area. So go check out the website for more information of the Boxing Science Amateur Boxing SNC program to start using the Boxing Science training methods in your gym today.